Now, for more earlier, I was joined by John Whitehead. He is president of the Rutherford Institute. And I asked him if, say, 50 years ago, long before the Patriot Act, if Americans in general cared more about their privacy and liberties and felt that the larger primary role of government was to protect the rights of law abiding citizens and then secondarily was uh, concern over the, the safety of, of broader society. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, I think 9-11 changed people's perspective. Uh, all of a sudden you were told that there were these huge terrorist threats and there were terrorists everywhere and all that. Uh, I talk with uh, intelligence people who work out of D.C. and they say basically that's not true. As far as al-Qaeda and groups like that working in the United States, there's not much of that. So, but people, uh, the general public has this idea that we have all these uh, terrorists running around the country doing all these things, which as we see since 9-11, that really hasn't happened. And uh, that's why we got the USA Patriot Act. Uh, it, it went through Congress in a less than a month and was passed and signed into law by George Bush. And, and that's something that, that seems to continue today. You, you argue that this point of view, these priorities have changed. And you could argue that was witnessed with what we saw with overwhelming support by Congress of this extension of the provisions of the Patriot Act we saw at the 11th hour last night with uh, the sentiment from Rand Paul, who opposed the extension, being that anyone who speaks out is criticized. So I kind of want to back up a little bit because when you talked about it decades ago when people were generally more concerned with liberties, uh, we were also in an ideological battle, the West and the United States versus the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union having kind of the inverse of those priorities where the safety of society was always more important and, and, and society is more important than the individual. Do you think that that dynamic was kind of driving people in the United States decades ago to to really be fighting for their individual liberties. Yeah, I think so, and but that's changed. Uh, uh, America's become much more of a status society. We now accept the fact that under the Patriot Act, the FBI can come into your home under what they call sneak and peek searches, and not even tell you you are that, that they've been in your home and rifle through your papers and download stuff from your computer, or they can go to your edu your school and get your education records, and the school cannot tell them that they that actually the FBI has been there getting your records or your business records, same thing, or your bank records. So that if the government decides you are a threat, for example, I speak out a lot against government practices. If I consider it a threat, I definitely know that probably the FBI knows what I spend money on. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they can actually, without basically minimum court, uh, supervision going and find out everything I've ever done, every book I've ever bought. So uh, then, so the, then, my the question to you: of terrorism is so broad on the, the mm -hmm. uh, Patriot Act that the FBI has actually infiltrated in places like Baltimore, quake parades of Quakers mm -hmm. who are going down the street. These are Quakers, you know, very peaceful people, and, and uh, inspecting to see if they're really terrorists. But they're more their intimidation tactics. So that's what we're seeing. And I think one thing I want, really want to point out here with. Ron Wyden, the senator from uh, Oregon, recently he's on the Senate Intelligence Committee. He just uh, announced that there is an unclass, there is a classified Patriot mm -hmm. Act. It's much broader than what we see happening. The government's doing much more invasive things than we, we thought. He wouldn't say what because it's classified. And yet you mentioned that Americans don't really oppose this because the ideology has changed. So my question to you, bigger picture, is has that communist ideology, some of that, that the United States was so fiercely fighting against decades ago, really penetrated American laws and the psyche of this country, as witnessed by the Patriot Act? If you want to use communism, I say we're more like China today than China's like us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know with, with what we're seeing in terms of SWAT team raids and mm -hmm. FBI raids of people who are, who are free speech activists in their homes, seizing their laptops, uh, what we're seeing is we're moving into a police state. In fact, I would say we're, we are in a police state. The Fourth Amendment, which is the key provision here in all this, requires that judges carefully look at the evidence and warrants to see if you're doing something criminal. Well, under the Patriot Act, you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, warrants are rubber stamp, and you mm -hmm. have, all of a sudden you have a policeman standing in your apartment. They can go through your door now. They really don't even need a warrant to do mm -hmm. that. So uh, I'm not the only one saying this, but many of the people out there I work with in civil liberties organizations from the left wing and the right wing are saying the same thing. We right. live in a police state.